Hey guys, I just want to do a quick update video because like over the last couple of months quite a lot of things have have happened and I just think it's worth sort of recapping a little bit and just kind of telling you guys where I'm at and what I plan to do next. Uh, so since moving to this house it seems like I've got another spirit sort of following me a little bit um, or at least she's in the house. I don't know if it's me she's necessarily following. While I was away... Uh, I think it was a month or so ago, uh, She, I caught this EVP while I was gone, and it sounded like this woman speaking. Now, I've never caught a woman uh, talking on the, an EVP before, so I thought it was definitely worth investigating a little bit further. So I did a follow-up EVP session, and she was like really responsive. For someone that sounded as timid and quiet as she did, Like I got quite a lot of responses like from the K2 meter, EVPs, orbs, reacting, just like the whole lot it was like a really really good session and from it i've kind of drawn a couple of conclusions first her name is either anna or sarah now a lot of you in the comments agree that it's probably anna and i'm inclined to agree with you but without a kind of follow-up session i can't sort of guarantee it and um, the other thing is that she seems quite sort of timid yeah and she seems kind of like quite confused I don't know if that's just me that got that impression like she doesn't seem to know what's going on like I don't know like not like in a residual I'm just gonna repeat things but she's she's an intelligent spirit but doesn't seem to realize the situation she's in I don't know that might just be me sort of looking into it a little bit much but the way she sounded it didn't seem confident I know what's happening so what I'm thinking is I want to do a follow-up session Basically, she seems very open to the idea of communicating. She's, she's I say, lots of responses. So I want to do a follow-up session and just sort of, first of all, clarify her name. I, it'd be so much nicer to just stop calling them the spirit and give them a name. I think it's much more personal. It's it's just much more respectful if you can ask that. So the male spirit's never been forthcoming about it. He's never. I, I still don't know his name. So I'm on to that next. But seeing as she's communicating really well, I'm going to work on that first. Um, I've clarified that I will I just kind of want to find out a little bit more information if you guys have any questions you want to ask or think I should ask then you know put them in the comments let me know and I'll I'll try my best to sort of put them into the session uh, the other thing is helping her like if she is confused in some way and she can't move on then I want to be able to help her do that and I'm not sure if there's anything specific I can do that will help her move on without the use of a medium or someone else who can communicate but if it is just the communication that she needs and I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that by by communicating with her and just helping her understand the situation she's in maybe that that's kind of what she needs if you guys have any advice on that then let me know that as well I would I'd really appreciate it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so going forward I'm going to do another session I'm going to get a ghost box as well that is on my list. I get paid next week and it's it's going to happen. So, um, yes, that's it pretty much. Let me know, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, as always, I'll post all, all activity as I get it. And uh, I'll see you next time.